There he is, the boss dog. Reason he's in the basket is we're on our way out. See him looking? As soon as I turn around, he'll be like a sled dog out in front. I don't understand why he just wants to get back to the car, but he won't walk on the way out. It's bizarre. Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, September 19th, 2024. Let's get into it. I got a question for you. Now, Trump's had you know, three attempts on his life because I think that they found a, a bomb in uh, New York near that. Boy, did you see that rally? <laughs> Trump had a lot of people there, man. He compacted that place. And that was in New York, of all places. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, uh, so, you know, New York cheats so much. I don't see where it's going to do any good. I mean, the whole damn state could vote for Trump and he'd still lose. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, that's how corrupt they are in New York. Try, try to get the camera just squared away. And, uh, but uh, I, okay, so they're going on on the radio about how his detail, his Secret Service detail, is understaffed by design. You know, the original Secret Service, the woman that resigned, said, well, I think she was quoted saying, well, it's just Trump. You know, we're not going to hit. In fact, he has less Secret Service than any of the former presidents. And yet he's traveling more and is more of a target. So I don't understand why Trump, you know, just like JFK did, doesn't hire his own security. You know, at least to augment the Secret Service. I, I, and I would recommend veterans. I'm sure there's some uh, retired Navy SEALs or uh, Rangers or recon. Uh, you know, those are the best of the best. That would be happy to work for Trump. Probably do it for uh, pennies on the dollar. Now maybe somebody can answer this question for me. And the question I got is, can you use campaign funds to uh, protect yourself? You know, or hire uh, people to for your own protection. And also, I would hope that Trump's going to protect the, uh, you know, Bobby Kennedy too. You know. So anyway, I, 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 so I don't understand why he doesn't hire his own security. Somebody please. Leave a comment, explain to me, you know, maybe there's some law he can't use campaign funds. I, I think Bobby Kennedy had his own uh, um, protection, didn't he? When he was a candidate, before he uh, got in, got on the Trump train. So anyway, that's the first thing I just wanted to talk about, because it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the next huge story, other than the pagers, <laughs> by the way, it wasn't just the pagers now, it's uh, what more devices went off. And, uh, you know, I think that a lot of people haven't put two and two together. I'm, I'm hearing, you know, like Sean Hannity or, or uh, Sebastian Gorka, and they're going on, well, this is what they get. This is what they get. You realize we just, that Israel just terrorized the world? Suppose you're a, a senator or a representative that votes against Israel. So now they could, they could, they could put a bomb in their grapefruit and, and boom, and say, well, don't vote against Israel. You know, so that's, a, that's everybody's going to be looking at their devices now, thinking, okay, if I'm an enemy of the state, you know, is, uh, is the CIA and Mossad going to team up and take me out, especially if I'm against Israel in any way, shape, or fashion? I just wanted to talk about that for two seconds. And plus, you know, I don't think people understand. I mean, some of those were nurses that had those pagers on. Uh, well, some people were looking at the pager and they're blind now for imagine being blind the rest of your life If I couldn't hike I'd be a miserable wretch of a man You know at least I, after breaking my neck I can get out and go hiking But imagine now you, you, you you've had eyesight your whole life and now you're blind Or you're crippled you know thousands of people crippled who will never you know maybe never walk again And I, I imagine I, I heard the death tolls up to 12 and there's a lot of people in critical condition. You know, kids were taken out. I mean, I, I you know, I, I just, I, I don't understand people. I mean, I, I think it was just a heinous act, whether it's against your uh, enemy or not. I mean, you know, a lot of those people weren't the enemy. Those were just civilians that got taken out. You know, especially when I heard the nurses. I mean, that makes sense. Most nurses would have a pager, right? So anyway, just wanted to give you my comment on that. The uh, next news story was the Teamsters Union. And uh, <laughs> I think it, I don't know the exact numbers. It was over 50% voted uh, that they, they want to endorse Trump. 
and I think like 30 some percent wanted to endorse a Kamala. Now, and so the management, rather than endorse Trump, they just said they're not going to endorse anybody. So that tells you where the money's at. I mean, if you're in a union, man, and your management goes against your vote, uh, that, uh, that tells me they don't really give a shit about the membership, right? And, and then the, the thing that also I got to question, who is the 30-some percent that wants Kamala? You know that uh, Biden took down the, the first day he got in office, he took down the Keystone Pipeline. That was our all union jobs, man. And, it, and he's wrecked the car industry with all of these electric cars. I mean, what are the 30 percent that want to vote Democrat? I mean, that's why I keep telling people the Democrats are like the Borg, man. It's a hive mind. They could, you could, you could set a Democrat on fire, you know, uh, and, you know, I put them out, give them third degree burns. And, you know, if a Democrat did it to a, you know, the Democrat establishment did that to a Democrat, they still vote Democrat. I mean, look at the blacks. Look at the blacks. Philadelphia is a hellhole right now. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, they're going to vote 100% Democrat. You know, and if I, if I was in one of those cities, I'd be looking around going, what the hell happened to my city? Why are all these illegal aliens getting money and I'm not? That's all being done by the Democrats. Why, are this, why is fentanyl on the streets? Why am I seeing people just walking around like zombies in my city? And you're going to vote Democrat? Somebody, please. I mean, other than I think it's a mind virus, just like the... Uh, the PSYOP, the, uh, the, the jab PSYOP that we just went through in, in 2000. You know, I mean, that was huge. I mean, so many people went along. I mean, vaccine mandates. I mean, you know, what happened to the women who would say, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. And oh, yeah, but you got to get this jab in your arm. And it's experimental. And we don't know what the side effects are going to be later on. Because it's experimental. <laughs> and by the way, you can't sue the drug, drug companies. But we're going to make you get it or you lose your job. That's who the Democrats are, man. That's who the Democrats are. And yet they're going to vote Democrat. I don't, I'm sorry, man. It just... Oh, and then the other thing. The SAVE Act is toast. Now, I haven't got the names. If I can get them, I'll put them on this video. But I think it was 12 Republicans voted against the SAVE Act. So it's dead. Now, I want to put those 12 Republicans up because those are rhinos. They're not Republicans. All right, we got to get them out. We got to vote them out. MAGA movement. MAGA. Vote them out, man. We got to get them gone. Anybody that votes against a signature on a freaking ballot. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, in Pennsylvania, a lower court ruled that they, uh, the ballots that come in without a signature uh, and, uh, or, uh, uh, or done incorrectly can be counted. What the hell? If you don't even have a signature on the ballot, <laughs> how are you going to count the ballot? But in Pennsylvania, that's how corrupt the Democrats are. Now, it went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said, no, we're not going to count those ballots. So now the, the, the election's being held up in Pennsylvania until they figure things out. Got to give the, at least the Pennsylvania Supreme Court some credit. But I mean, to talk about, you know that if a ballot comes in, <laughs> A signature that the Democrats are cheating, man. It's just, it's so in your face. It's so in your, and then look at, look at Hillary Clinton. Like I posted yesterday's video. I had, I found a, that good news article from RT. And what I, the reason why I did that was I was trying to show you that that's just another news source. You can watch it or not, but the government has taken that away from you. The Democrats want to censor everything. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, Hillary Clinton came out and said, oh, we need to start rounding up the MAGA people for disinformation. I, I, and I put that uh, clip of Tucker Carlson telling you that anybody that wants to censor or to, for disinformation is a liar. They're lying to you, man. There's no such thing as disinformation. There's only bad information and good information. And yes, yes, there's a lot of bad stuff out there. I get the X posts all the time. They aren't real. Now, here's here's one for you. So I got community noted that the uh, that Roth guy, the shooter, the second shooter, had been turned over to the FBI. And so I thought, well, okay, maybe I'm wrong about that. And yet now I'm hearing that no, DeSantis has him. 
I, I really don't know for sure. I, I'm hearing it both ways. Somebody, if you know for sure, do we have him in Florida or has he been turned over to the FBI? And why would I get community noted on that? I don't even know how that works. I just figured, boy, if it's a community note, it's got to be that, that he's been turned over to the FBI, right? Oh, man, I tell you, something else. Something, something else. So the other piece of news I thought was really cool is Trump is on his way to Springfield, Ohio. And he's going to get to the scoop on what's really going on there. So I think that's, uh, that's outstanding, you know, that he's just going to go there and talk. I imagine he's just going to talk to the locals and say, hey, you know, maybe go into a city council meeting or, uh, you know, get with the mayor. Now, what, what the hell is wrong with the Ohio? I thought Ohio was a Republican state. And you're going to take 20,000 Haitians and stick them in a, a city of 50 or 60,000 and the governor just goes along with it? Man, Ohio, you need to get a new governor. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, mean I love DeSantis, man. I'm going to tell you what. I, I didn't want, want him running against Trump. And I think he got captured by the deep state to a certain extent. But he's a damn good governor here in Florida. And that's the way it should be in Ohio. And what's this mayor of the Springfield? I guess he's captured by the deep state, too. He's just going along with the whole program. And the Haitians are getting paid, from what I understand, by some sort of NGO. So they're making decent money while the locals <laughs> are going broke. All the rents have gone up. There's like 20 Haitians to a house. and they, So the landlords are loving it, although I, I can't believe it. When you got that many people living in a, in a house, of course the rent is going to be outstanding. But think of the damage they're going to do to that rental property. I mean, I don't think the Haitians are going to take good care of these houses that they're renting. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, you know, you don't want to spoil the place that, the hand or the place that, you know, feeds you. But I mean, I would be infuriated if I were in Springfield, Ohio. All the Haitians are getting paid damn good money. And the people of Springfield are all going broke because they can't afford the rent. They can't afford their housing. The housing's gone way up as a result. I mean, when you take 20,000 people and stick them in a location and pay them lots of money, what do you think's going to happen, right? Oh, my God, and the Democrats are all for it. And the rhinos. God, I can't wait to get the names of those 12 idiot Republicans that voted against it. You know, it's the uniparty for sure, man. It's the uniparty for sure. Just wanted to get a nature shot on the video just because... I think this is so unique looking at this, isn't it? I mean, it looks like something out of a, uh, or, you know, a sci-fi movie or something, you know? what? Which one am I thinking of? Uh, I can't remember the name of the movie, but, you know, you, are you going to see fairies hovering over top of this stuff, you know? Or uh, maybe, uh, who knows, you know, what, what beasties live in there, you know, fairy creatures. Anyway, I just wanted to get this nature shot. I mean, look how far back that goes. I think it's just so cool. So cool. Let's keep it going. All right. We'll hold it right there, but look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. All right, watch this. I told you he wouldn't walk on the way out. Look at him. I had him pull in the cart just a little bit ago. It's like a sled dog, man. Look at him go. He'll go like this most of the way back. Now, he'll eventually get tired. I just wanted to show you what he looks like. Isn't he cute, though? <laughs> just the way he walks, man. Oh, man, I tell you, I love this dog. He's, and he's got so good temperament. He's great around kids. You know, he's not a yappy dog. He uh, doesn't bark at the... Somebody knocks on the door or whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to get him on the video. The boss dog. Whoo, hold up. All right, let's go through the uh, bookmarks. Today, I'm going to put this photo up. And this is Tulsi Gabbard parody. And uh, it says, do you agree that John Kerry has no business telling us about climate change and well, the photo's on there right now, him climbing down off of a jet plane. Uh, this is DC Dranko. Uh, me in 2016. Vaccines are great. <laughs> me in 2021. Okay, let's all take a pause and see some long-term 
uh, data. Me, now, I don't trust a single thing the FDA approves. <laughs> and I'd say the CDC. I'm not even getting a flu shot. I, that tells you how much I trust them now. Oh my God. I mean, anyway, you, you, you do you. Flu shot, probably good. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> so this is uh, Ian Mills Town. If Elon hadn't bought Twitter, if he hadn't done this, the entire West would be at 10 times the threat. Our civilization works because we have free speech, because we have property rights, he says. These basic values are at threat. Yeah, no kidding. Real problem. So let me just finally ask you, Wend, on Elon Musk, and, and you, you talked to him. It was not a good investment for him or, or uh, the bankers in Twitter. Is he still happy that, that he did that, and does he oh, feel like he took one for the team? So he's and, and he's not... He's getting a lot of backlash. Maybe people I've seen on a Tesla uh, on a bumper sticker that says Elon, shut up. I've seen things like that. If, if Elon hadn't bought Twitter, if, he, if Elon hadn't done this, the entire West would be at 10x the threat in terms of, you know, our civilization works, Joe, because we have free speech, because we have property rights. We so have he doesn't care about the $40 billion. These basic Can values are a threat. Yeah, and, 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 and no, listen, X is up 25% or so year over year. Is yeah, that 25% but, year but, over year? The revenue's down, of course, because the brands all went at him, because the brands are run by people who are not tied to the values of Western civilization. Yeah, but that, that's not a free right. speech argument. If the brands don't want to support you, oh, they don't have to. They, they absolutely, absolutely don't have to. Yeah. And they, but they, but there, were, there are people being sued right now who did illegal coordination to try to attack it, which was probably was illegal. Is it illegal yeah. to say, I'm not going to put my ads there anymore, are you? That's not illegal at all, but to coordinate behind the scenes with lies and to, and to do something that's a cartel trying to crush something, that's not necessarily appropriate. And so I think and you're, that's got to come out in the courts, and we'll see what, we'll see what they did. Okay. So he's, uh, he's not thin-skinned and sensitive, I don't think at all, is he? He's fighting to save Western civilization, and I think a lot of us are trying to do so as well. This is, right. a, this is a huge time for But I'm for scared country. when I try to do it. I don't think he's scared. <laughs> but, uh, and I, you know, I'm thin-skinned. Well, thank you. It's been, it's, been, it's been an exciting week. Thanks for having me on. Here, here in town working on pager international supply chains and stuff, you know. It's, it's kind of fun. Are you really? No, that's a joke because of what happened Because of what happened. Well, the, but, there are people who are saying it was Palantir involved with that. I mean, if it was, we wouldn't be able to tell you. So You'd have to kill us if you told us. <laughs> you know, by the way, I want to talk a little bit about RT. Now, you know that's just the first step. They're saying, oh, it's Russian disinformation. Soon it's going to be every independent reporter that's on the Internet and they're going to say, oh, they're disseminating. Anything that goes against the Democrat narrative is considered disinformation. You understand that, right? So you're only going to get one, their side of what's not really news. You're just going to get their lies. And then they're going to prosecute anybody that's trying to tell you the truth. You understand that? This is just the tip of the iceberg. You, you know, they also banned, uh, I think it was out of uh, Africa. Can't get your news from Africa no more. Anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, this is uh, some testimony. Um, if you want to know uh, how my orcas, the traitors, th that you have traitors in your government, this is a video. It says, former chief uh, uh, Border Patrol agent Aaron Herkey Her was ordered by the Biden-Harris administration to cover up the disaster at the border. Uh, data hidden on terror encounters, uh, 150K flights to fly illegals to Texas, zero resources to track fentanyl. And I'll play you that video right now. In San Diego, we had an exponential increase in significant interest aliens. These are aliens with significant ties to terrorism. Prior to this administration, the San Diego sector averaged 10 to 15 SIA arrests per year. Once word was out, the border was far easier to cross. San Diego went to over 100 SIAs in 2022. Well over that in 2023, and even more than that registered this year. These are only the ones we caught. At the time, I was told I could not release any information on this increase in SIAs or mention any of the arrests. The administration was trying to convince the public there was no threat at the border. Fentanyl is another issue. The San Diego area sees between 80 and 90 percent of the methamphetamine and fentanyl seizures annually for our entire country. With little enforcement at the border, these drugs were coming through in mass. During my last year in San Diego, the price for a single pill of fentanyl, for example, went from $10 to 25 cents. To make matters worse, during 2022 and 23, I had to shut down San Diego traffic checkpoints, 
which are critical for drug interdiction because the resources had been diverted to the process and release mission. The large numbers also had and still have a negative impact on the San Diego community. I had to release illegal aliens by the hundreds each day into communities who could not support them. To quiet the problem, two flights a week were provided from San Diego to Texas. These flights simply brought aliens that would have been released in San Diego over to Texas. Each flight cost approximately $150,000. This was the administration's way to try and quiet the border-wide crisis. Okay, so there's the video. This is Rob Smith. I love this so much, and that it represents the fact that it's going to take more than one man to save the country. It will take all of us to take this country back. And now you, you're seeing the, the photo that he's got there. I mean, look at that team. Look at that team. Tulsi Gabbard, J.D. Vance, Trump. Oh, by the way, I, I'm going to find it. Uh, JFK uh, had a really funny grilling of Trump. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to find that video. And if I do, it's right here. Um, on two occasions, I sued him. Uh, or he was trying to build re uh, golf courses up in the New York City Reservoir watershed. And I sued him successfully to stop that. And at one point, um, my wife uh, at that time had been trying to find a... Uh, I, she, she wanted to go to... Palm Beach for the weekend to see my mom over uh, Easter, and uh, I said, I, you know, I want to buy tickets for all the kids, and she said, what if I find a free ride? And I said, okay. Oh, well. I didn't think she was going to do it, but then she said, I found a free ride, and I said, who? And she said, Donald Trump, and I said, I'm suing him. <laughs> and she said, he told me he knows you're suing him, but it's okay anyway. <laughs> Uh, and we ended up flying down with them, and I had a great time. I still sued them. Uh, but, you know, after the night that he called me after he got shot, and, and Butler, one of the first things he said to me, he said, you know, are you a religious person? And I said, well, you know, I have a deep belief in God and, and a spirituality, which is the central organizing force in my life and he said um you know i think i believe in that too now and, and all right hopefully i found that video i thought it was hilarious i, I want to get some humor in the video you know uh and look at that elon musk and uh vivek ramaswamy all of all of them are great fantastic people and as far as i know i mean obviously i haven't met any of them personally but from everything i've seen uh Wow, 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 wow. This means Trump is supported by union workers. Teamsters, officials are corrupt. I was talking about this earlier. Can't endorse a, and frack, fracking uh, the, and the pipeline, destroying Comrade Harris. Members would uh, revolt so they won't endorse anyone. This is de facto Trump endorsement. So, and it says, the, 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 I'll put this up. It says, Teamsters will not endorse for president in blow to Democrats. Um, all right. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll put this up. Uh, this is Trump, and he was given a, uh, a, a, a speech on Jesus Christ, and I thought it was very, uh, very heartwarming. So let's watch that video. I believe in God. I believe in the Bible. I'm a Christian. I'm, I, you know, I have a lot of reasons I love I love people and our country needs a savior right now and our country has a savior and that's not me that's somebody much higher up than me much higher up we just do what we have to do but the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world it's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, and uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation. And we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. We're not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. 
And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope. Let us thank Almighty God for our nation, for our precious freedoms, and our most of all, and I have to say this for the gift of God's everlasting mercy and grace. We ask God to bless our nation and our people with faith and hope and love and peace. So even Trump said himself that we have a savior. And he also said that savior is not him. It's Jesus Christ. Now, look, you can hate him all you want to, but there is no other person in his position saying things like that. There isn't right now, nor has there ever been a president talking about Jesus Christ the way that Trump is talking about him. And if you are a Christian and you can't see that, that's pretty scary. You know why it's scary? Because that would mean you're acting off of what you think about this man. And if the Lord acted out of what he thought about your past, you'd never be forgiven. Trump could repent yesterday, today, tomorrow, and come into his process and begin walking to become a new creation in Christ. And those who are truly Christian should see things like that. And when you don't, that's terrifying. All right, so there we go. I can't put this up because it's too music, but I will repost this on my X site. It's our time. We must unite. It's time to rescue the Republic. Join us in Washington, D.C. on 9-29-24. 2020 is the code for healthy vision. It is also the year we were given the eyes to see. The great Oz has spoken. Today, the curtain has been pulled back to reveal the liars at the levers. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. They are masters of deception, hell-bent to divide and conquer. Some radicals on the far right. It's not just the far left wackos. Like magicians, they use the art of redirection to keep us distracted as they trick us. Nearly every war we have fought was initiated by their propaganda. Iraq's weapons of mass destruction are controlled by a murderous tyrant. As their empire of lies is collapsing, they are becoming increasingly desperate and dangerous. Russia, China and Iran have announced the three nations are seeking to strengthen ties. The alliance has been formed to chill us all to the bone. Their reckless war games have united a deadly alliance. Everything we have fought for, everything we've earned, and everything we love is under attack. Terror suspects at the southern border since the beginning. At what point do we say, enough is enough? Now is the time for the American people to wake up and rise up. A rebel alliance is forming in the name of liberty and life. People of every color, culture, creed, and ideology are putting politics aside to secure the eight pillars of peace and freedom. End the weaponization of science and medicine. If there is risk, there must be choice. Cease the expansion of surveillance and propaganda. They are killing us with censorship and propaganda. Stop central bank digital currencies. That will allow them to punish us from a distance and cut off our food supply. Prevent political abuse of our judicial system. What we are demanding is in fact the restoration of the rule of law. Secure our national borders. I'm tired of the United States doing nothing to protect the American people. Protect our children. To defend our children and to save an entire generation. Restore critical thinking in education. I think that the time for change is now and enough is enough. And above all, break our addiction to war. The nuclear threat is an emergency of the highest order and we are all in the crosshairs of this emergency. We must set aside our differences, work together to fire those warmongering politicians from both political parties. Everybody from the left, everybody from the right, everybody from the middle coming together to realize that we have more in common than divides us. What unites us is so much stronger than anything that divides us. We're a country of love. We're a country that care about people. The one thing that brings us together here today is that we value life. Every single principle on which the West is based is under simultaneous threat. We must defend the West. 
Okay, well, I knew the Ohio governor, Mike DeWine, and we were just talking about the Ohio governor, isn't that funny? Was a sellout rhino, but I had no idea it was this corrupt. Did you know he has a nonprofit that funds Haiti schools? Now do you get why he flooded his state with Haitians? The Clintons taught him well on how to get nonprofit kickbacks. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Let's continue reading. He also took campaign do donations from Norfolk Southern and stopped the new train safety regulations from going into effect. We always wondered why that train went off the track in Ohio, huh? Uh, East Palestine. Okay. And here's the kicker. He's taken tens of thousands of donations from children's hospitals that support sterilizing and mutilating children for profit. Did you know what he did after that? He vetoed a bill that would have banned child sex changes. Unbelievable. Mike DeWine isn't just a rhino. But he's a Democrat. He's a globalist scumbag who's ruining Ohio. Don't even get me started on his support for the COVID vaccines. I thought that was a hell of a good post. That's from DC Dranko. Uh, Doug McGregor. This is, uh, this is crazy. Breaking news. Uh, a letter to the UN reveals Iran will respond to attacks against envoy in Lebanon. All right. So I don't know when. I guess, they, I mean, the carrier fleets, I know they're being, uh, some, two, I think two of them may have been re-dispatched, but I think there's still one carrier fleet still in the um, the Red Sea. Watch out. Boo, boo. Oh, man, the dog's going crazy. Well, he, luckily he got held up by the cart. I can just leave him be. Uh, Simplicius the Thinker. This is devastating for Russia, a major blow, and I'm going to put these photos up. I don't know if you knew, but a huge ammo dump just went up in Russia. And uh, he, he's talking about it. This means the Russians' 20 to 1 ammunition advantage is now shrunk into an unprecedented 18 to 1. <laughs> of course, he's being sarcastic, but still, it was a hell of a hell explosion. It registered on the Richter scale, man. I mean, this this was massive. Russian frontline troops may need to immediately begin retreating. <laughs> I like his sense of humor, you know. Since they they can only fire 18 shells for every one Ukrainian shell after this. Very concerning. Anyway, I just wanted to report on that. And uh, we'll, we'll tie up the video there. It's getting a little long. Peace out. And stay free. Hopefully we'll get some wildlife on the way back. Uh, if not, have a good one.